Farm, you're here with Miko and on Kerbal Space Program, and today we are doing something a little different than usual because I've got a mod that I'm just playing with, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now, it's um, the ScanSat mod, which basically adds a uh, satellite type stuff to the game where it means you can scan celestial bodies and reveal loads of different information about them, like the biomes or like. Uh, ores or like minerals and stuff on the planets and it's really cool now the version I'm using I can't remember what version it is but let's go into the tech tree and show you where it is I believe it is um, where I've got to find it here go. in uh, the basic science uh, tech you get the first um, part of the mod that you can use which is the scan radar out Timetry sensor, which is the um, which uh, scan brings you this high performance radar alt altimetry sensor. This is the entry level model in the sensor family, and it is the first out of four different sensors, I believe. Uh, and commonly sold in a bundle with toy rockets and remote control model planes. After focus group testing revealed that 95% of the target audience tried to uh, t tried to duct tape it to the exhaust pipe of their rocket engines, this new and improved model has been made even easier to use. And yeah, it is a really good mod and it is really useful to uh, plan where you're going to land on a planet to get um, the most science you can possibly get from it. So it's very good for the career mode. Now, I don't know where the other ones are, I'm guessing they're down here somewhere. But there is, there's three more and, like, they upgrade, they're like an upgrade. The, so the second one is an upgrade on the first one, the third one's an upgrade on the second one, and so on and so forth. And they have different attributes, so let's go into the vehicle assembly building. And I will show you a rocket that I have just used. And I will show you how that's coming along now. I called it Spice App, but then I renamed it like the probes that I used because I decided it was going to be better if it was called like uh, Biosat because it's a biome scanner. Now, as you can see, this bit here is the scan radar sensor, and I've put it on a probe body here with some uh, solar panels and whatnot. Now, it does extend out like this, and it looks really cool. And then, yeah, it will start scanning when it's extended. But it does use some electricity, which is why I've got the um, solar panels. And if I go over to, I think it's utility, is it? Nope. Nope, where the... Oh, here, yeah, it's in science. And um, you can see it's a mass of 0 0.03 tons. Uh, and if you uh, right-click, you get the ScanSat data. It says... Um, it needs to be within a certain altitude, so you can see it says altitude minimum of 5 kilometers above the planet or moon or whatever you're scanning, and a maximum of 500 uh, kilometers, which is quite quite high. It's well out of um, orbit, or well out of the atmosphere of a Kerbin and I think every other planet in the game, maybe possibly. Anyway and it, use, it uses 0.1 charge per second that's why I've got the solar panels and these solar panels are from a different mod they're not supposed to be used for actual solar panels in space but I haven't got any solar panels currently so I'm using them because they're actually quite quite good now the FOV is um, how wide the scan will like scan essentially like how wide like as it's looking down on the ground, it will scan a certain area of what it of like what's in front of it. Now I believe the FOV being five degrees, I think it will only scan what's within a five degree range in front of it. And if you upgrade it with the next model uh, sensor, it becomes like FOV ten or something. I haven't got that far yet, but it does upgrade in like the some of the I think it's like the third or fourth model has the like a, a best altitude of where if it's at like let's say the best altitude on this would be 
300 kilometers. And if it was at 300 kilometers, it would scan so much more than if it was at like 500 to so the max or the minimum. And I think the FOV kind of plays a part in how that's like done as well. So yeah, I decided to send this into space. I did two probes with their two sensors, not well with their sensor on each one, purely because I knew I'd I'd mess up one of them. And I'm glad I took two because yeah, yeah, I did mess up one. So let's uh, we'll, we'll go out now and we'll go into the uh, tracking station where you can see these probes in action. Let's go over here. So we have got Biosat One, which is orbiting Kerbin, and the, oh yeah, of course they they need to be in a polar orbit. So they need to be orbiting the poles, and that's purely because if you're orbiting the poles, you're gonna eventually scan every part of the body you're scanning. So that's another thing you gotta remember. It's gotta be at a minimum, within a minimum maximum altitude and orbiting the poles. So we've got uh, Biosat 1 and 2. Let's go to 1. I believe 1 is the one I messed up. Because, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's get rid of that for a second. I think it's. Is this the one I messed up? Yes, this is the one I messed up because the sun's over there and my. Um, my solar panels are facing the complete wrong way, so it ran out of charge very fast, and it's not actually doing anything right now. But where is its brother satellite? Can I see it on on here? Maybe. Who knows? But uh, Biosat One is yeah is useless. It's completely and utterly gone. I might mount a mission to add a solar panel on it so it can actually face the sun. And I can get control of it back, but I can't because it's a probe and it hasn't got anyone on board, so that's not a good thing. But if I go to Biosat 2, which is the fully working one, and it's all well and good. Because this one, the solar panels, well one of the solar panels, is facing the sun. And you can see the, the scan sa uh, sensor is scanning nothing right now, but it doesn't really matter. Because as long as it's in orbit, doesn't matter what angle it's facing, it's still scanning, which is which I'm grateful for because I can't actually turn this around very well and I don't want to move it in case the solar panels don't face the sun anymore. So it's currently scanning and if I go into here you can see on the map there's like a green like uh, ray of what it's actually scanning right now. And if you click on this button over here, the satellite button, this is the ScanSat menu button, click that and it brings up the map and you can see this is what I've currently scanned so far. You have different options. You have the big map, the instrument window, zoom map, overlay, central, and uh, settings menu for it. And with the sensor I'm using, I believe it only does the low scan, and the other, like four, does the high, the multi, and the BT, DT, whatever is and there's a percentage of how much of the planet you have scanned so far so at the moment I've scanned a 24.2 percent now when it hits 30 percent you get science for this scan uh, I'm not too sure how much science you get it might be in relation to um, the planet I'm guessing it is in relation to what planet you, you're doing and I believe the more you scan the more science you get so if you do like a like a 90% scan you'll get more science than if you were to do a 30% scan which is where you actually start getting science from and yeah if we speed this up I don't think I'll be able to speed up that for much see it's going see it's different now it's scanned this bit and it's going up here and it will it will continue to scan until it's done the whole lot and let's make it do 30% because I want to see how much science I get it, it just dro dropped out of sun range then a bit, so it stopped scanning. It's fine. Not, there we go. It should be close. 29.7. Come up. There we go. So if I go back into here and I click on the sensor, and it should, and you click analyze data, and there we go. We have got some science. Low resolution altimetry scan of Kerbin. Even this low resolution data of the planet's surface is amazingly useful. You can't wait to deploy this technology on the moon or beyond. And yes, I can't. I will be sending uh, satellite, well, probes 
to the different areas. I can't transmit this data, so I will have to keep it. The one thing I forgot to put on is a thing, a way to transmit my data back, which is not that that bad because I can just send up a, um, a another rocket and attach one with the uh, cable attachment systems, which is a very useful mod when it comes to like tinkering when you have after or well, tinkering after launch. But yeah, there's this that's the ScanSat mod. It's very useful because if I think can I there's where is um go settings. Um there's a bit where I can I can show the biomes off. Or I might have to I I might have to get to a hundred percent scan to show the biome, but uh, let's have a look at the big map. This is the big map, and yeah, you can see the different orbits of the two satellites. Got a uh, biosat two, and the other one's not transmitting anymore, so it's kind of useless. And you can see the uh, app apps and the peri apps in the this big map as well. But I don't know where the oh here we go. It's like um, so a little bit, so grid. Oh no! Oh, you can see it in, as if you were looking at the planet. That's weird. Oh, here we go. Is that give us a biome? No, I think it, we might have to get the whole map scanned before we actually get the biome, or it might be just the next upgraded sensor allows you to scan for a biome, and scanning for a biome is very, very useful because, like, on Kerbin now I've I've landed on some biomes, but I don't know which biomes I've landed on. I haven't really kept track, but if I was to keep track, then I could say, while I'm coming back in to land, I could say, okay, maybe we should aim for, say, a desert biome, because I haven't been to a desert, and then... Like I can make sure I line up on this map, and then there you go, sweet, you landed there, and it got more science that you wouldn't get if you just landed randomly and you'd accidentally landed in the same place. And it is a really good mod, and I'm actually loving it at the moment. So yeah, as I was saying, I will be sending satellites to the moon and possibly Minmas if I can get there and not screw up, like I screwed up the second one of this. But yeah, um, that's been ScanSat. Uh, you can check the mod out. There'll be a link to the mod in the description if you want to check it out. And if you like the episode, make sure you stay tuned for next time. Where I don't know what I'll be doing next time, but I'll be doing something. But yeah, uh, if you like the episode, make sure you click the like button, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.